In this exercise, Password Policies, the main objectives are the following. First, create an administrator organization, then create a new password policy, and finally, assign the password policy to the admin organization. All the steps are available here in the documentation. And to begin, you need to run your LifeRight Tomcat 1 image using the command docker compose. Please pay attention. This is only a generic instruction, but your image is called LifeRight Tomcat 1, not LifeRight Tomcat. So execute in your terminal docker compose for your LifeRight Tomcat 1. In my case, I already have that container running. So when I execute this code, I only am going to see that everything is OK. Life right Tomcat 1. So my Life right Tomcat 1 and my scale are available. If I go to my dashboard, I can see here my Life right Tomcat 1 is running. So now please go to your web browser and write localhost 8081. After that, sign in using your administrative credentials and working with the test user. It's an admin user. And now we are going to create a new organization. The new organization is going to be called administrators. That is the name for that organization. Please go to your control panel, users, and then user and organizations. Control panel, here is control panel, users, users and organizations. Now you have to click here in the organization tabs, click there, and now click on add a new organization. Write the name, administrators, and click here in Save. Now you have your new organization called administrators. Now we need to create a new password policy. To create a new password policy, go back to your control panel, security, and then password policies. Click here in password policies and add a new password policy. This new password policy is called administrators. Write that name, administrators. And we need to configure some options for this new password policy. For example, we are going to configure these password changes, move the slider to yes. And also we are going to configure this section, password syntax check-in. Please use the values that are available here in the documentation. Move the slider to yes for password syntax checking. And now we're going to use those values. For the minimum, write 7. And the minimum length, uh, write 10. And so on. Now we're going to expand the password history. History, Move the slider to yes. Then expand the password expiration. Move the slider to yes. And finally, expand the lockout section. Move to, to yes. And we're going to configure the maximum failure to five. Five times. Then, then click on save. So now you have your password policy. We need to apply for the administrator organization. How to do that? Please click in the name of the password policies here in administrators. Then click on the tab assignees. All those instructions are available here in the documentations. Now, in the Assignee tab, 
you need to click in the sub tab organizations and now we're going to click here to assign the administrator organization Cl click there then click on, on the button add and now your password policy administrators is going to be applied for all the people who belong to to the administrators organization to test this you need to create a new user so please go back to your control panel users and organizations and create a new user in my case I'm going to write, for example, here, this screen name. That is my screen name. My first name and my last name I, I'm only going to, to write the required um, fields and then I'm going to click here in, in save LifeRite sent an email with the password but in my case I didn't configure the email server so that's why I need to overwrite my password my automatic password. I'm going to write here test. This is going to be my initial password and then I'm going to save. We need to go to localhost 8081. To do that please go to your web browser and open a new incognito window. We are going to test the login process. sign in please use your new credentials the initial password is test this is my first time doing the login process with that user so I'm going to agree I'm going to agree the terms of use this is new in LifeRite DXP 7.3 if you want to use this functionality, you need to have the integration already configured. In my case, I'm not going to do the configuration that is part of another training. So I'm going to disable that feature. How can you disable the verified email address? You need to go to your portal X properties for your image container. So this is LifeRite Tomcat and here in config you can find the portal x properties please open open that file with visual studio for example visual studio code i'm going to open this file and i'm going to add a new a new property this property that exists in portal.properties but I'm going to override that property here in the portalx.properties please use this property now save and to apply that you need to restart your life right so I need to go back to my terminal here in the path in the path LifeRite Tomcat, I'm going to execute the command docker compose down, and after that, I need to execute the docker compose build to apply that change on my container. I need to wait until the container will be stopped. This is going to take some time, and now remember to save this file with that new line save the file and now please execute the command docker compose build 
for your Liferay Tomcat 1 image. We are building again the image and now it's ready. We are going to start up our container. Docker Compose. Docker Compose app for my Liferay Tomcat 1. This is going to take some time. So please be patient and wait until Liferay is ready to use. If you want to see what is happening with that container, please remember you can go to your dashboard and then see Liferay Tomcat 1. After that, you need to wait until the message Catalina startup server. Now you see the message Catalina start server startup. So Liferay is ready for use. Go back to your incognito window in your web browser here. I'm going to go back to localhost 8081. Now we're going to sign in with this new user. I'm going to use my credentials. This is our password policy. I need to use a new password. I'm going to show all the configuration here. And we need to have this in mind. We need a password with 10 characters. For example, if I want to configure a new password with less than 10, I'm going to use the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And repeat again the password one, two, three, four, five, six. This password is not going to work because uh, I need at least 10 characters. And you can see the message for that error. I'm going to write a new password, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. <laughs> I write a lot of numbers. And this will be an error too, because we need some symbols. I'm going to click Save, and this is another error, because you need at least one lowercase. And the new password needs to accomplish all configuration settings.